Module 9, Nutrients Involved in Bone Health, Calcium. Calcium plays a fundamental role in various physiological processes, from building strong bones and teeth to regulating nerve impulses and maintaining muscle function. It is the most abundant major mineral in the body, 99% of body calcium is found in bone. While calcium is alkaline, basic, it plays an important role with the body's acid-base balance. The blood calcium level has a narrow range, so the body maintains blood calcium levels at all costs. Calcium is found in a variety of different food sources. Dairy products such as skim milk, non-fat yogurt, low-fat cheeses are excellent sources of calcium. However, items such as ice cream, whole-fat milk, and regular cheese should be eaten in moderation because of their fat content. Despite the name, Cottage cheese is not a good source of calcium due to its manufacturing process. Green, leafy vegetables like kale, cauliflower, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, green cabbage, bok choy, turnip greens all contain significant amounts of calcium as well. Spinach is a good source of calcium but does not absorb well into the body, though. Other sources of calcium include calcium fortified foods such as orange juice, soy milk, rice milk, and tofu. Due to the importance of calcium, the body tightly regulates its levels within a narrow range to maintain homeostasis. If dietary calcium intake is insufficient, the body compensates by releasing calcium from bones, which can lead to osteoporosis and fractures. When the blood calcium falls, the parathyroid gland stimulates the parathyroid hormone, PTH, to be released. This hormone, also called parathormone, stimulates activation of vitamin D. The actions of PTH and vitamin D lead to the kidneys retaining more calcium from the blood, osteoclasts to break down bone and release calcium into the blood, and an increase in calcium absorption from the intestines. Conversely, when the blood calcium rises, this stimulates the thyroid gland to release calcitonin. This hormone lowers blood calcium by preventing kidney reabsorption, limiting absorption from the intestines, and inhibiting osteoclasts from breaking down bone. Vitamin D. Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin that plays a crucial role in the absorption and utilization of calcium and phosphorus, essential minerals for bone health. It helps in the regulation of blood calcium levels by stimulating the activity of osteoclasts. Vitamin D is technically considered to be a hormone because it is synthesized in one location and acts in another location. Sunlight is a primary source of vitamin D production in the body. When exposed to the sun's ultraviolet light, the skin synthesizes vitamin D from cholesterol through a series of reactions. Factors like geographic location, season, time of day, skin pigmentation, and sunscreen use affect vitamin D synthesis. Any excess vitamin D is stored in the liver and fat tissue. Dietary sources of vitamin D include fatty fish, example, salmon, mackerel, fortified dairy products, fortified cereals, egg yolks, and certain mushrooms. Most vitamin D is obtained from fortified foods such as milk and cereal products, as most foods naturally contain very little vitamin D, vegetarians not consuming dairy foods typically receive vitamin D from the sun, fortified soy products, or through supplements. The amount of supplements taken should be monitored carefully. If too many supplements are taken, a person may develop vitamin D toxicity, which can lead to high levels of blood calcium. Vitamin D deficiency can develop if a person does not consume milk, stays indoors most of the time, or lives in a northern latitude. Northern latitudes receive inadequate sunlight in the winter and make it difficult for people to make vitamin D. Inadequate vitamin D levels can contribute to muscle weakness, an increased risk of osteoporosis, and can lead to the conditions rickets, in children, and osteomalacia, in adults. Vitamin K. Vitamin K is a group of fat-soluble vitamins that play an important role in blood clotting, bone health, and other vital processes. It is found in two common forms. Vitamin K1, phylloquinone, which is found primarily in green leafy vegetables like kale, spinach, and broccoli. This is the main dietary source of vitamin K. For example, 
Just half a cup of boiled turnip greens provides more than three times the recommended adequate intake, AI, for vitamin K and vitamin K2, mina quinones, is produced by bacteria in the large intestine and found in fermented foods like cheese, natto, and sauerkraut. Vitamin K is essential for the synthesis of clotting factors in the liver, which play a key role in the coagulation cascade. It helps convert precursor proteins into their active forms, allowing blood to clot properly. Without sufficient vitamin K, the body's ability to form blood clots is compromised, leading to prolonged bleeding and increased risk of hemorrhage. Additionally, vitamin K contributes to bone health by activating osteocalcin, a protein involved in bone mineralization. Osteocalcin binds calcium and promotes its deposition into the bone matrix, enhancing bone strength and reducing the risk of fractures. Adequate vitamin K levels are important for maintaining optimal bone density and preventing osteoporosis. Assessing bone health. Due to its importance for our overall health, monitoring the levels of calcium within the blood should not be overlooked. Levels which are either too high or too low can indicate several conditions. A common evaluation used regarding bone health in general is bone density. This represents the degree of compactness of bone tissue, reflecting the strength of the bones. Peak bone density is the point at which the bone is the strongest. A non-invasive procedure used to measure bone density is a dual-energy X-ray absorptiometry, DXA. It uses very low-level X-ray energy to assess the patient's risk of developing osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a disease characterized by a deterioration of the bones. This often leads to complications such as fragile bones which are more likely to fracture, a compaction of bone which leads to a decrease in height, and a shortening and hunching of the spine. Factors influencing the risk of osteoporosis include Age, the older a person is, the more he is at risk for osteoporosis. Gender, osteoporosis is more common in women than men. Genetics, Caucasians and Asians are more at risk. Family history, consumption of tobacco, alcohol, and caffeine. Repeated falls and fractures. Nutrition, physical activity, a person with a sedentary lifestyle is more at risk, and history of amenorrhea, failure to menstruate. It is important to note that not all risk factors are able to be changed including race, gender, family history, and age. The best ways to reduce your chances for developing osteoporosis include eating a healthy diet, not smoking, being active, getting a proper amount of sunlight exposure, and taking supplements such as vitamin D and calcium.